Food Network, don't fail me now. We've got uh, four chicken thighs in our bowl here, and they're all ready to go. Next, we're going to add a third of a cup of soy sauce. We're going to add a tablespoon of vinegar, a tablespoon of avocado oil or any other oil you have on hand, and then we're going to add our seasoning. We're going to add a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder goes in next, and of course, finally, we've got some ginger powder. Not too much, though. Don't want to go crazy on that stuff. Finally, we're going to add in a little bit of maple syrup just to top it off. Now we're going to let that marinate for 15 minutes. Woohoo! I have some boiling water here and three packages of ramen. What I did is I tossed out the seasonings and now I'm going to put in the ramen and let it, let it sit in there for two minutes and then drain it out. Okay, I've got my oil that has been on medium high heat and I'm going to dump in my, I'm going to Throw on my chicken that is done marinating and get that cooked off. I've taken my cooked chicken out of the pan and now I'm going to throw in some carrots and some cabbage and just get that, get that cooked and ready to go. Now that we have all our veggies cooked, we're going to add back in our chicken and our ramen. And I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more soy sauce because it doesn't have enough sauce for me. And we'll see how it goes from there. And there you have it, my friends, the final product. Looks pretty tasty, huh? I personally think it could. It, I needed more sauce and needed more veg, but hey, that can always be edited. Hope you like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget, eat real, live full.